Welcome back. October is Infant Loss Awareness Month, but today is part of a week highlighting black infant loss, which happens at a much higher rate than others. Our Jamie Sharon spoke with two women who share the importance of this week and what needs to be done for a more promising future. Today, moms across the country are lighting a candle for Black Baby Loss Awareness Week, raising awareness of disparities and remembering those babies gone too soon. Why are our babies and moms dying more? It's a question that inspired Liana Moore to become a doula. Other people in my community, just through my experience as a mom, I wanted to make a change. For two and a half years, she's been helping moms here in Grand Rapids through their birthing experience, offering support, education, and even asking tough questions. During birth planning stages where I'm just like, I know it's a hard topic, but if something were to happen to you or happen to the baby, how would you like us to handle that? Because it's not something we want to think about, but it does happen. She's seen it happen to several of her friends, one of whom she shared the joy of being pregnant with at the same time, but her friend's baby didn't make it. And that was a challenging time for me, not only as her friend and her very close friend, but also hearing a baby myself, there was that fear of like, this could still happen. It's a fear that no family should experience, which is why she says something needs to be done. Just really need that awareness to talk about these topics and understand what's going on and figure out how to support our community in those times and how to prevent this from happening as much as we can. This has been an ongoing for, for decades and decades here in this country, if not centuries. Um, and the fact that it is still ongoing really merits attention. Peggy Vandermolen is the program director at Strong Beginnings, an organization created in the 90s to address high rates of black infant mortality through a partnership of several agencies in Kent County. Doing home visits uh, to provide peer support, health education, counseling. The latest data in Kent County alone shows that black infants are dying at 3.6 times the rate of white infants. This is a, a tragedy that should not be happening. She says the main cause for black infant deaths include premature births and low birth weights. Other causes can be sudden infant death syndrome, suffocation from unsafe sleep practices, genetic abnormalities and diseases. But she believes a big part of the issue is structural and systemic racism disproportionately affect black moms and ultimately affecting the survival rate of their babies. Alerting health care providers to their own biases so then they can work to address those and really hear women, hear birthing persons when they speak up. She says other solutions include continuing implicit bias training, having policies that support maternal and child health, livable wages and affordable health care. So everybody has access to to equitable, good quality health care. This year marks the second year of National Black Baby Loss Awareness Week. For more information on Strong Beginnings or more to love doula services, head to this story on our website. In studio, Jamie Sherrod, Fox 17 News.